everyone! I thought I would change things up a little bit on this video and actually show you my face. So it's a little scary for me because all the other videos that I have done, which hasn't been very many, and I apologize for that, but uh, the only thing you have seen are my hands. And I'm not just a pair of hands. No, no, no. I have a head. I, I have a face. So it's less creepy that way if you know that I'm not just a pair of hands. <laughs> Okay, that's creepy. Anyway, I wanted to share with you a project that I just completed. I wanted to alter one of these little purse, wooden purse thingies that I've been seeing on other channels. Uh, I picked these up at my local um, Michaels. They were on sale for 50 cents a piece, so I bought a bunch of them. And I wanted to turn it into something... Um, Oh, I kind of want to go with the vintage route. So uh, this is what I ended up with. You can see that there. Um, I used some, just some regular paper. Some vintage -y looking paper here. And I am new to the Maji Paji world. Here you go. New to that world. So I made a few mistakes. Um, and I'm actually going to point them out because I like them. Um, these are some wrinkles that I got in um, the paper, which I actually think adds to the the project. I think it makes it look old, worn, like somebody actually used this and loved it. So um, I thought it turned out pretty good, um, even though I knew there were mistakes. Um, but they can be covered up, or they can just be made to look cool. Uh, so I actually took them and um, took some ink and distress them a little bit more to kind of point them out. Yes, this is my blending tool. Yeah, I know. It's awesome. <laughs> you want one now. <laughs> I bet. Yeah. Who needs Tim Holtz when you can have a clothespin and uh, makeup spongy thing? That's right. <laughs> oh, boy. Um, the actual handle thing here. I actually covered that up. I, I took hot glue and I um, used a brad and put that on there. So you know how brads have those prongy things on the end? Maybe that's what I used. I just slip, snipped those off, filled it with hot glue and stuck it on there. So that's how I did that. Um, I put uh, some little corner. I don't know if you can see that these are usually for pictures. Put those on the corners here because I knew that those would get worn down. So I wanted to kind of strengthen those a little bit. Same with where the handle or where the string comes through, those little holes. I can see those that breaking down pretty quickly. Uh, so I wanted to put some eyelets on there. So I took some uh, brass colored eyelets and put them through that, which was a little difficult because the eyelet setter that I have didn't want to reach through that distance there so I actually had to take a hammer and hammer them down in there and they still probably could use some more hammering but it was late at night I was afraid I was gonna wake someone what the heck someone's banging on the house I don't know. Uh, then I took some old um, fake flowers that's what these from this little bunch here which I picked up at like a Goodwill or something I inked those up, and then I don't know if you can see this. Ooh, can you see my eyeball? No, don't look at my eyeball. Look at the flower here. You see this little, um, I, I started, I took a, what did I take, a tweezers, and I started pulling on it to kind of get the fibers to come out of it and make it look more old and vintage-y. So that's what the flowers look like. That's my project. That's what I ended up with. Make you pretty. I have kids. I talk like that sometimes. It's just it's just part of the deal. You just go with it. You go with it. All right. So if you have any questions, comments, if you just think I'm crazy, put it down below. <laughs> Ooh, don't put it that I'm crazy. Please don't. No, no. <laughs> My kids are going to see this. <laughs> All right. Thank you for watching, and we will talk to you soon.